What is it, time for breakfast? Sort of. Sometimes you just want something that's like quick, easy, and on the go. Yes. And I went to Whole Foods to get some steak, and I found these. These are Vital Farms pasture-raised egg bites. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So I'm actually really excited about these because- It's fast. It's fast and especially with camping. And here's the thing. We recently were camping and we went to Walmart and we saw a product like this, uh -huh. but it was like, I don't know, some other name. It wasn't Vital Farms like Pasture Raised. And we bought them and we're like, we're gonna do a review of them. And then we got to our camper and the next morning we woke up and we're like, okay, we're gonna eat this for breakfast and we're gonna do a review on And we looked at it and they expired two weeks prior to us purchasing them. I just didn't feel like going back to Walmart. But that was kind of shocking. It was kind of like, shocking. Check and the refrigerated section. Listen, here's the thing. I am the last one to ever worry about like expiration dates. Rachel will tell you like a lot, a lot of foods. It's a suggested, and we were talking about that last night at our Christmas party, where they were saying like, what about on lunch meat? Because evidently somebody in our church decided to eat lunch meat that was 10 days past the sell by date. Not me. <laughs> that one I'm a little questioning on, but like a frozen pizza, okay, it may me not be as fresh, but it's still frozen, like how bad could it be? It's but not a yeah. life or death thing. An egg product, I don't know. So anyway, I found these at Whole Foods. I've got two different flavors, but there is a third flavor. They were just out of stock. So we have sun-dried tomato, basil, and mozzarella cheese. Oh, yum. And uncured bacon and cheddar cheese. And they also have, I'm looking up there, ham, pepperoni, cheddar, and onion flavor. But again, they were out of that. Actually, I'm most excited about this one. So these are Vital Farms pasture-raised eggs, which those are good eggs. Before we had chickens, those are pretty much the ones we always try to we buy. We love those. Okay, so I got them already heated up. All right. Which one do we want to try first? And then we'll get into the five things. I want to end on the sun-dried tomato. You want to end on the sun-dried so tomato. So which one? Okay. okay, so this is. So let's let's kind of show. They remind There's two me in a package. of what you would get so at Starbucks. Good. Yeah, they're like a little sous vide egg bite. Mm -hmm. And we make these in the oven. Just eat half. You ready? Mm-hmm. Dink. Dink. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That has got some flavor. That is delicious. We haven't even salted it. It doesn't even need anything. That is good. The wow. eggs are fluffy. Very pre-made egg that's from the buttery, refrigerated section. Super buttery. The cheese is delicious. I'm really happy with that. Mm. Really happy. It smells amazing. It smells really good. That is really good. Really good. Mm-hmm. Wash it down with some coffee. That is delicious. Okay, you ready? Crazy good. Okay. Well, here's the thing about the sun-dried one is it's got like a little sauce on top. It's a little wet. So we gotta somehow split that because you definitely wanna have the sauce. Right, to get the full effect. It's got almost like a gravy looking sauce on it. Okay, there you go. Okay. I'm gonna take the piece that's got, there's like, you can see all of the tomato and the mushrooms. And I think I'm assuming there's mushrooms in this. I don't know. It looks like mushrooms, but maybe not. I see, I definitely Mozzarella. see the sun-dried tomato in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow, that is very flavorful. That is like pizza on an egg. Yeah. And that sounds gross, but it's not gross. It's really that is, good. That is amazing. That is good. That, wow. Five things. Five things. So, 
If you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutritional label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? So Number one. Let me put my coffee away. Number one is the ingredients. Okay, so the ingredients, this is the sun-dried tomato one. Eggs, which are whole eggs and citric acid. Then we have organic whole milk ricotta cheese, orga which is organic milk, organic vinegar, and salt. Now, you're going to look it's at this. It, it looks like a lot of ingredients, but they're breaking everything down. Yeah. Uh, then we have organic mozzarella cheese, which is organic milk, cheese culture, sea salt, vegetable enzymes. Then you have sun-dried tomatoes, tapioca flour, basil, oregano, dried garlic, dried onion, salt, black pepper. That is good. Made here in Texas. Then we have this one is eggs, whole milk, ricotta cheese, cheddar cheese, and then we have a natto for color, uncured bacon, no nitrates or nitrates added, pork, water, salt, vinegar, extracts of citrus, which is pomegranate and rosemary, and then tapioca flour, dried garlic, dried onions, salt, black pepper, distributed by Vital Farms in Austin, Texas. The one that's the bacon and the cheddar, I feel like that would appeal to anybody. Yes, this is definitely like a pizza kind of flavor. Like yeah. you, if you like sun-dried tomato, you're gonna like it. If you don't like sun-dried tomato, it's coming through. You won't like that flavor. Right. Okay, number two, does a keto based on a nutrition label? I'll take over from here. All right, so one package is a serving, okay. which is really nice. Because yeah, yeah, two of those guys, which is that's really awesome. 240 calories per serving, 17 grams of fat, 18 grams of protein, five total carbs. So you've got yeah, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. that is very, very reasonable, I think. And the same thing, what's what's it going on there? 230, 14 fat, 17 protein, eight total t carbs, and then four sugars. But that's all from the vegetables and stuff. So once again, I probably still would would probably pick this one up. So again, the carbs here, they're coming from your tomato, from your spices. And then don't forget, eggs have carbs in them. There yeah, is do. a carb in each egg. So yeah. that's going to be two out of the five, two out of the eight right off the bat. Yeah. So, number three, how do they taste? I think they taste phenomenal. Like, honestly, like, I would not know if you just gave these to me. I really would not know. I'd really have to think about the fact that this was like a pre-made egg thing. If you How just many... kind of made it for me and put it in front of me. I mean, they're not frozen. Like, those frozen egg things, yeah, not for not me. Not good. How many minutes in the microwave did it take? I put it in the microwave. Now, I you can actually, I'm going to open this up now. But... You can put this tray in the microwave to warm it up. Okay. We're just kind of not into warming up our foods in, in plastic, plastic anymore. So I actually put it on here and I put one from each one so that we can try both of them. And I put it in the microwave for two minutes. And you know, Perfect. I wasn't sure. There's nothing on here that says how long to heat it up. Might want to keep some instructions. So might want to add that. I don't see anything even on the back. It doesn't say. Oh, I'm sorry. It does heat for 45 to 60 seconds. But again, we did too. I was doing it on this though, and that's going to soak up some of that heat. So yeah, a minute in the plastic, probably two minutes if you're putting it on a ceramic dish. Now it says that there, you can go to their website for oven instructions, but I wouldn't bother. I don't think it would add that much to it. I mean, it's going to take a lot longer for it to cook yeah but here was my thought about the taste a lot of times when you get a pre-cooked something like this i have to make sure that i'm on the go with it because that's what it's designed for i mean i'm going to make an egg at home but mm -hmm. if i'm running out the door and i want to make sure i have lunch with me to go to the office i'm going to make sure that i bring salt and i bring something to dip it in and i bring something to flavor it because i am assuming that normally there is not enough flavor going on in this and i'm going to need to like help it out right this didn't need any help it was super flavorful full of flavor. it is seasoned i think perfectly and yeah nothing needed well let's Amazing. talk about number four which is how much do they cost okay okay so i bought these on sale which is how we buy everything. So when I got them on sale, they were $3 a package. All right. Okay, which isn't super bad. So that's $1.50 an egg, $3. Like, that's a, to me not bad. A $3 lunch. Yep. I, I, that's reasonable. Now, looking right now, I have pulled up on the computer the Prime Now website, which is ordering it directly from Whole Foods, but that's like, you're paying Whole Food prices. You're not paying like Instacart prices. Yeah. And they're currently selling full price for $4.99 at Whole Foods. That's a little much. 
It's a little much, but again, how much does it cost to get a couple of those sous vide egg bites from Starbucks? Oh, yeah, and they've got some wonkiness going and on. And here you are at least talking about you know that you're paying for the Vital Farms pasture-raised eggs. Yeah. You also have to look at it this way. Even if you make them at home yourself, like... If you're buying Vital Farms full price, you're paying five ninety nine a dozen. So that would be a dollar just in just eggs. in the egg. So no flavor. That's something to consider. No convenience. Probably a little bit expensive, but at the same point, those ones we got at Walmart, which were some no name like Armor, whatever brand it was, shifty, and they were like three dollars and seventy five cents. So you're really only paying like a buck more for pasture-raised organic ingredients. So that's yeah. something to consider. That's true. And just keep a lookout for it to be on sale. Yeah. So number five, would we recommend it? Yes. I would recommend it not necessarily as an everyday thing. Because let's face it, you, you can, can make, make sous egg bites at home. You chop up some of these same ingredients. You can put them in an Instapot. You can make sous vide egg bites in a sous vide machine in your Instapot. We make you egg want. cups in the oven. Yeah, in the oven. We actually have a recipe for that. Um, but on the go... Because you know what's nice about these? If, if maybe you don't want to make a bunch of them and stick them in the refrigerator and have them see, you want to just have something like this. These are nice because you can heat them up and literally take them and eat them by hand in the car. Oh, yeah. So you don't need a fork to eat these. Like, just like any other egg bites. So for a quick on the go, maybe have, I can see having a couple of these like tucked in the back of the refrigerator for one of those days. Like you're on the way out the door. You're like, oh my gosh, I forgot to pack something for lunch. I forgot to pack something for breakfast. I need something. And you grab that and you can heat it up anywhere in a microwave or anything. As far as an everyday thing, I'd probably just make my regular eggs. But as a uh, a quick, quick convenient thing, I think they're great. Well, you know what I like too? Is they stack like very well, very yeah. small. So like our boys have their own like little refrigerator, like a mini fridge, a college mm -hmm. mini fridge. You can put a couple of these in and know that they've got lunch for a couple of days. I don't have to think about it. It's gonna store really well. You don't need, you know, a big refrigerator. We could bring it with us camping. Yep. It's not gonna take up a ton of room. And all I need is a microwave. And here's the, I think the best place that you're going to use these for if you're a traveler. Oh, yeah. Because every hotel place room. has got Whole Foods, things like that. Almost every hotel room at least has a microwave. Yeah. So you can run to your local grocery store, grab a pack of these, bring them back to your hotel room, stick them in the microwave, and you don't have to worry about eating off of that breakfast buffet bar, which most of it is garbage, like pancakes and that kind of stuff, or powdered eggs, which is full of chemicals and things like that. And you're going to feel like you really had a treat because these really are flavorful. Yeah. Well, that's going to be today's video. Now, let us know down in the comment section if you've ever tried any of these egg bites. Also, let us know if there's another brand that we should try because I think these are awesome. Yeah. So if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of our other product review videos, which you can find linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, click the little bell icon. That way, every single time we taste something new, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.